Okay, if you're watching this video, you are probably on the stage of your research where you're actually looking for your six photos, eight photos, if you're a group of four. Uh, I am making this video to basically show general guidelines on how to actually research the photos in the most effective way I think is possible. Uh, I'm going to try to divide this video into three distinct chapters, as you can see next to my face. Uh, first, websites not to use, just some general tips. Two, what I think is the most effective way to do the research the fastest. Uh, and then three, it's going to be divided into kind of five different subsections because there will be five websites, which I will go over individually. Um, and I'll show how to use each of those. So if you actually just want to skip to those parts, I will section this video so that you can just skip to those parts and you don't have to hear me talk the whole time. All right, so let's begin. So you're starting your research. So I'm going to open up Google Classroom. You should get something that looks like that, uh, whether you're in my class or Miss Gamboa's class. Um, these are the main websites we're going to be using. However, you might be tempted to use some other websites. So I'm going to go over why you probably shouldn't use those websites. So you may be tempted just to just use Google Images. Um, one of the issues with using Google Images is that the goal of this assignment is that you want to look up photos from specifically the 1880s to 1945. Um, so if you're doing like World War II, for example, you might be tempted to go to images. The issue is that you need photos that were specifically produced and taken at that time. Uh, Google does not do a great job of actually showing if that was one a picture that was taken or produced at the time um, you know even if it's black and white this could easily be a dramatization uh, from a movie and it's kind of hard to tell um, Google doesn't really have a tool to filter out only the year uh, this time part doesn't actually it's just when someone posted it so you can't filter by the year so it's not the most effective research tool. For similar reasons, history.com, if I go to history.com for World War II, um, or yeah, History Channel. Um, again, hard to always say whether the photos were actually produced or taken at the time, uh, or if they're dramatizations. Um, and a lot of the information on history.com is a little bit suspect if you're trying to caption the photos. So it may not actually be the best source for you. Okay, so that's just a very short spiel on what websites not to use. We're going to go into which websites you should use. Okay, so you want to start your research now. Um, so let's maybe zoom in a little bit. So these are our five main websites. Uh, we got Library of Congress, which is linked below. That is this one I am highlighting right now. Uh, we have the University of Washington Library's Digital Collection. That is this one I'm highlighting now. Uh, we also have National Archives, again, right there. Uh, and we have two that can be found in our FHS library and database, um, which you can find in the resources section of the FHS library. I have linked it. Uh, but you can also find this through your Tequila bookmarks. What I would say is the best thing you can do is actually just open all of these at a time. The reason for that is that in trying to find six to eight photos, you might not find it all on one website. Uh, you might not find anything on one website. So the best thing you can do is actually just open everything and essentially put in the same search for each website. Now I'll go over how each website functions, um, but for now what we're going to do is we're just going to open every single website, um, which may or may not help us, and that's fine. Uh, let me just go for the first three. We're just going to open them. If it's linked on Google Classroom, it's pretty easy. Uh, for the other two, you may have to actually look for it a little bit. So first one is Gale High School. If we have the FHS library resources page open, it is actually near the top, right there. 
Uh, your login is just 406 and then your S number. So I have an S number saved. And your last, your password is the last four digits of your S number. So again, 406, make sure you type that in. And then your S number, and then the last four digits of your S number. Alternatively, you can just use your library card. Um, I have a library card, so I'm just going to use that. While that's loading, I'm going to show the other website that I have found useful for pictures. Uh, the easiest way to find this one is to click Art and Culture, and then open Daily Life Through History. So we now have one, two, three, four, five websites. Uh, will you use all of them? Not necessarily, uh, but by having all of them open, you should find one or two that are going to be more successful, and this will be the most effective way for you to find these photos. Okay, so we're going to start with Library of Congress, so let's head over there. Before you actually start typing anything, uh, the thing you want to do with this website is there's a drop down menu right here and you can actually filter that so that you only get photos because we know that the main thing we're searching for is photos it's an alphabetical order you can go down to photos um, and then here we can start playing around with our search word whatever that is uh, sometimes it's as simple as just putting a topic in so if you are doing your presentation on child labor for example um, we can get quite a bit of results on child labor now to go through most of these results, there is a lot. In fact, there's 5,469. Um, in order to filter down to especially the time period we want, this website does in fact have a section. It's right here uh, where my mouse is, if you can hopefully see that, where it says date. And we can click the specific year we want. And of course, we know we want from the 80s to anywhere at 1945. Uh, if you've done your background research on this, you know that it's somewhere in that region. Really, you can do any part of that. Um, but we don't have to end the filters there, actually. Uh, we can go even more specific, and we know that we want to look at pictures of child labor in the United States. There's a location section, and we can click United States as well. Uh, and by that, uh, I can already get one photo of the Breaker Boys, uh, and as you can see, it is a child labor grouping uh, in Pennsylvania. So that's how we can use our search features um, to get more specific photos. If you use a filter and you actually want to get rid of it, uh, don't worry, you just go up here and you can just X out so it's like okay well I don't want to just do maybe 1800 to 1899 maybe I want to go see what's in the 1900s the earlier part of the 1900s so I can go ahead and click that I can go to 1910 to 1919 um, and I would get another selection of pictures so that is how you would use this specific website library of Congress. Okay, next one is National Archives. I will not lie, this may or may not be the most user-friendly one, but if you follow along pretty well, you might actually be able to find quite a lot here. Um, so I'm just going to do World War II. Um, we can put it in here. And we can press search. And very similar to National Archives, we're going to get a lot of uh, items, 632,388. Uh, first thing we actually want to do, and this is kind of what I meant by it not being as user friendly, we want to go from all records to available to access online. Uh, obviously, you want the online access. You're probably not going to go to Washington, D.C. and get the photographs yourself. Um, and then we can filter down to just photographs. Uh, we're here where it says type of materials. Uh, we can go to photographs and other graphic materials. Uh, and now we've gone from 600,000 to 14,000. Uh, but that is also a lot. 
so the next thing we would want to do, similar to Library of Congress, we can go down to the bottom part of this left side where it says dates by year. And again, we can filter by the time period. So again, I searched World War II. I've done my background research. I know World War II happened in the 40s. Uh, that's, and you know, clearly that's where all the photos are at. So I can go to 1940 to 1949. And again, you know, pretty simple to get a type of photo, photograph of World War II posters. Uh, these things come with descriptions, so that's nice. Um, if you didn't like that, you can just keep going down. World War II Navajo Indians. Um, and so again, you can find your photos fairly simply that way. Um, as we go to the next website, um, Gale in Context High School, uh, a website you may or may not have used before. Uh, a lot of the topics that you have are famous enough. Uh, so like if I did New Deal, for example, uh, that actually may come with a section. That's kind of what you want. If your topic is mainstream or well-known enough that can create its own section, this is really nice because we can go here and then we can actually find a button where we only get images. Uh, there's only 10, but you know as many as you're able to is totally fine. And we'd be able to find a picture of Franklin D. Roosevelt signing the New Deal. Um, and it comes with a caption. So sometimes Gale High School works well like that. Even if it doesn't work well like that, let's say now let's say you're doing something as general as the as just Asian Americans and it may or may not have that uh, you can still find images you might just have to be a little bit more determined to find one by a specific year more than likely if it's in color like this looking new it's not from the time period you want um, you can filter by publication date uh, so we can make it from probably the years. But again, I probably would use this website if you can get something like we showed before where you get its own specific section. Um, similar to that, Daily Life Through History. Um, we could do something very similar. Type in New Deal. Oh, that's embarrassing. I'm sure it will work eventually if we're determined enough. Nope. There we go. Perfect. I knew it would work eventually. Um, similar thing here. We can just filter to photos. Let's see if I do New Deal. Great. Look at that. Um, work projects yeah so using these search filters can be very helpful um, in making sure we get photos from the right time period uh, making sure we only get photos it, it helps the research process a lot uh, getting very familiar with filters on a search bar rather than just typing in something in a search bar or typing in a whole question on a search bar can make us much better researchers for this last website, University of Washington Libraries, uh, I would actually say that this website, uh, I, I've i played around with the search bar. It doesn't work quite as well, but what I will say is you can, if you know that your topic is actually in here, there's a drop down that says see list by subject. Uh, if you know, for uh, example, you're doing something about labor, there is a section specifically for politics and labor. You're going to get tons of photo galleries that are just about labor, uh, like the Civil Works Administration photographs, King County, 1933 and 1934. Um, you can look through here, find a topic that is close to what you're doing, uh, Labor Archives Digital Resources Portal, um, something that is 
perfect for you if you're doing labor. Um, but you know, it's as simple as just using this drop down menu and looking through the galleries of photos they have. And that is pretty much it. Uh, the only other thing I would say is make sure to when you find a photo uh, to cite the photo um, if you don't know how to cite owl.purdue is a great resource on citing really anything um, I'm sure we can link it you just go to MLA guide and if we go down to MLA works cited other common sources if we scroll down enough, it will tell you how to cite specifically a photograph. Um, it is as simple as this. Uh, someone took the photograph, uh, and that person has a last name most likely, and a first name. So you just go last name, comma, first name, period. You put the title of the photo, assuming it has one, period, the year it was taken, um, where you got it, you should know where you got it. We had a choice of National Archives, Library of Congress. Uh, so wherever you got it, that helps. And then, you know, the location, period. Very easy citation. You may want to put the link also, but that's the basic citation. Uh, and by doing all of this, you should have everything you need in order to find your photos. So... Hopefully this video was helpful.